Hey folks, Chris here again. Now, you know, there are several videos out there on YouTube about the 64-foot uh, Dolzian here at Boardwalk Hall, and most of them just show you this. Okay, so that's the beater box, and we're down here on the floor, and that's, that's what produces the tone. Now, that's cool, that's great, but what I want to know is, what's going on at the other end of the pipe? So that's what we're going to show you today. And so I'm going to turn the camera around. And there, there's my assistant. There's Nathan Figlio. Wave hi to the camera. Can't do these videos by myself. Now, here, Nathan is holding the, uh, he was hitting the primary pin on the chest there. Now, that is the bottom C pipe. And there, as you see, it says CCCCC1. So that's low C of the 64-foot Dolzian, which is really a diaphone, and then low C sharp is right there next to it, okay? Now I'm just going to show this back here. The light's not so good, but there is this 8-inch wind line up here, okay? That 8-inch wind line goes to the chest that feeds just those two pipes and nothing else. An 8-inch wind line for two pipes. <laughs> You're not going to find that in many other places. Now, around the side here, the 64 continues on. This is uh, D, D sharp, E, F, and then F sharp and G are actually on the other side and it goes to A and A sharp. But these are the bottoms of the diaphones down here. Okay, now I'm going to go up to the next level and Nathan's going to stay down here. I'm going to show you what happens to the rest of the 64 as it goes up through the other chambers, or goes up through the other sections of this chamber. Note that we are on the right side main chamber. This is the great, great pedal side. And by the way, I thought I'd just show this, uh, this pipe right here is about three feet across. That's one pipe. That's the 32-foot tibia plaza, voice number one. So anyway, working our way through the grate, back into the opposite corner of this chamber. Okay, there is low C, all right? And low C sharp, you can't really see around behind the corner there. And then there's D, D sharp, E, F, and so on like that. And if you look down there, there's the bottom of the pipe where I just was. Okay, so the 64 is starting on this level, or on the last level. Oh, there we go. Okay, and there is low C sharp. Okay. All right, now we're going to go up another level. You're going to have to forgive me because it's kind of hard to hold the video camera and climb up these ladders. Actually, I should say it's hard to go up these ladders and hold the video camera at the same time. Okay, now we've gone up another level. We're in front of the great solo. And just for reference, we can look out at the auditorium up there. Now, this is a, a site that most people don't, don't see. There hasn't been much taken of this. These are the upper notes of the 64-foot octave here, and these pieces of wood with all the screws are sort of like the reinforcement of the miter. So the pipe is coming up, making a 90 degree turn, and then going that way. And you can see the tuning slide right there. See that? So this is, uh, I forget if that's A or A sharp, then G and so on, on up. The 64 below notes are back there, kind of hidden behind the uh, great solo reeds really can't see them that well. Oh, you can kind of see it peeking out back there. See, there's one, and the other is behind those reeds there. 
And here's another one of these nice uh, rank lists for the chest. Okay, now we're gonna go up another level. And this one's quite tricky. So bear with me here. Okay, now we are on the top level of the grate. And if we look down, we're looking down about 40 feet to the bottom of the chamber. And here we are on the top level. And there you can see dead ahead, there's a 64 foot resonator, there's another one, there's another one. And low C and C sharp, are now in the chamber behind us. There's C sharp. There's C. You see that they've they're almost touching. That they've gotten so big by the time you get up here. And if I stand back and aim the camera up there, there is low C sharp, and there is low C. Now I'm going to climb up on this walkboard. Okay, and there's, there's the grill to the outside. We're looking down, and you can actually hear the echo. This is low C sharp, and this is low C. And the reason that I put a garbage bag over the end is to see what kind of reaction we have when the pipe is played, because I really don't know how much it puffs out or what. So I'm going to get Nathan on the uh, walkie-talkie and have him play it. And uh, this is gonna be very interesting. So if you'll bear with me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and play it. kept vibrating a ways after. Hey Nathan, um, turn it on, uh, give it about three beats and then turn it back off. Interesting, you can see how the uh, plastic kept moving. Okay, thank you. So, there we go. Hope you uh, didn't mind so much of the uh, uh, shaky camera work there, but that's something I've always wanted to see for myself, and now my uh, curiosity is satisfied. So from uh, Boardwalk Hall, November 4th, 2019, over and out.